Well, it was a nice start to our work week here on this last week of February as we're about to change the page on the calendar. Outside right now, we've got clear skies. Temperatures are not cold. They were not. They will not be as cold as they were last night. We had a morning low of 23 here in Springfield. Looks like temperatures tomorrow morning are only going to dip to right around the freezing mark. You can see it's a quiet scene across the region, but as we look north, there is some low cloudiness and oftentimes this time of the year that low cloudiness marks where you have not only a front but also colder air behind that front and that's exactly what we're looking at right now across parts of western Kansas. Notice 18 in Topeka right now. You can see uh, temperatures dip into the single digits back toward Colorado. We've got uh, single digits in Omaha and single digits across Iowa. So there is some very cold air not very far away from the Ozarks. Why isn't it pouring into the area? Well, we've got a bit of a wall right now to our north. We've got this frontal boundary. That frontal boundary will not move very much through Tuesday. We should remain on the south side of that front, the mild side of that front, if you will. And it looks like uh, we will find a beautiful Tuesday with mostly sunny skies and mild temperatures. In fact, warmer tomorrow than it was today with highs up around 60. Colder air, though, will start pouring on the backside of this area of low pressure, which will be developing on this front near Kansas City. And as this area of low pressure pushes east, it will open the door to that cold air that's lurking to our north and it will pour into the area on Wednesday. Here's our hour by hour forecast tonight. We'll hold on to mostly starry conditions again, not as cold tonight for tomorrow. We'll find mostly sunny skies, but low cloudiness will start developing to our west. We'll find it focused along and west of I-49 by late afternoon, but it will be shifting east as we work into Tuesday night and we should find skies becoming cloudy overnight tonight, though, mostly clear about 32 for the low in Springfield with temperatures tomorrow warming very quickly during the morning hours. I love to see this. Uh, I don't mind it so much if it's cold early on, as long as we can get those temperatures a lot higher pretty fast. And we're going to find that tomorrow with temperatures in the mid 50s by noon and an afternoon high tomorrow up around 60 degrees here in Springfield. Looks like about 60 in Monette, probably 60, 61 in Branson. Even our eastern counties and counties to the north will find temperatures in the upper 50s with winds out of the southeast at 5 to 15 miles per hour. But Again, on Wednesday, as that area of low pressure passes by to the north, we are going to find that front making a move to the south. And what we will find is uh, temperatures warmest during the morning hours here in Springfield, at least with highs around 50 during the morning. As we work through the afternoon, colder air will be pouring in and temperatures will be dropping through the 40s and into the 30s. In fact, it looks like by early evening we could be approaching freezing and that's going to make things interesting overnight Wednesday night into Thursday morning because a weak upper level storm is going to help to squeeze out some drizzle that will likely change to freezing drizzle and some light freezing rain overnight Wednesday night into Thursday morning. Now I'm not expecting big accumulations, but maybe a light glaze up to a tenth of an inch and that will tend to focus along and north of I-44 and then we'll find a cold afternoon on Thursday with a chance for a little drizzle as temperatures slide get a little bit above the freezing mark. But we're not done with the cold there. After a break on Friday, another Arctic blast arrives Friday night and this one's going to have a real push behind it. It looks like we're going to find very cold temperatures starting Saturday through Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, possibly through Wednesday of next week. So an extended period of very cold conditions, especially for early March. Uh, there are going to be parts of the Ozarks that may not get above freezing for several days. And in this pattern, it's likely that there will be at least some opportunities at some light snow. And right now, the signal is most likely for that to happen on Sunday. So there's your seven day forecast. Again, I told you to get out and enjoy tomorrow because you can see how temperatures are going to be taking a turn especially this coming weekend. And again, that cold looks like it'll last through the middle of next week. Oh, the weekend's looking uh, chilly, Jamie uh, is right. But <laughs> spring, yeah. what is it? Four weeks away now? Yeah, I'm holding out hope that it's going to get here yeah. quickly. Yeah, well, nicest yeah. day of the week, though, is tomorrow. <laughs> so you get a little taste feel like spring. Yeah, mm. be optimistic. I think when you look at that forecast, you kind of have to say all those nice things. You know, it's like, well, you know, I like looking at the forecast and picking out my favorite day. So Tuesday is my favorite Tuesday. this week. I'm going to just hold on to that. <laughs> hold on okay? to Tuesday. Yeah. Viewers viewers Club. Club. <laughs> Tuesday is the good day. Here's our uh, viewers club number for tonight. One six zero. 075 or jackpot $200. All right, Jamie, thank you. Well